Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Super Luigi Galaxy and now that I've played the battle modes in Mario Kart Wii, my joy cleanse have recharged, so let's head back up to the engine room and have a look at doing some more stars there. I probably didn't need to do it, like, wait two hours for my Joy-Cons to recharge. I'm pretty sure they charge in like 10, 15 minutes or something like that, but anyway, let's head back into C-Slide. And get these silver stars, which I can't remember where they all are. Oh well. I'll... I'll get them. It'll be fine. Probably. I wonder if you can pop them with the, the, what's it called? The star bits. Probably not. But if you could, that would be really funny. Like, if I shot from over here, I know I'm not going to hit it because of the, the, the arc of it falling down. But if I do that, that doesn't pop it, does it? No, it just destroys itself on the top of the bubble. That's a shame, because that would be such a great trick to do. Especially if you could actually get some star bits in the, the startup thing, which you can't, because then you could shoot them in the, and like you could shoot them in the opening launch star cutscene thing. But anyway, let's get some of these stars, and I think I should probably head back first. No, maybe no, no, I can go wherever I want. Uh, I'm thinking of the purple coin star where it spawns at the um. Uh, what's it called? The lighthouse. Whereas this is fine because I can get the silver stars and then head to the middle, which is where the launch star is that takes you back, and to a sling star which takes you back to the start, which is where the star's going to spawn. Also, I probably shouldn't worry that much about the silver stars if I do this um, hungry luma straight away, so. Feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst with snacky happiness and then transform. I'm famished, I need 40 star bits to curb the hunger pangs. Do I have enough? Not quite yet, but I'm guess I, I turned around last time and got all the rest that I needed. Just like that. Although I think I might have messed up slightly on that kind of idea by trying to pop the balloon or the bubble with star bits, so I can't get this right now. So I guess I can focus on... Hang on. No, I did get enough. Cool. I was about to say I could focus on getting the uh, the silver stars, but I'm alright now, so... Let's just slide Luigi right into position. And do a whole bunch of that. Here we go, transform! Okay, this won't take long. Oh, but I actually do have to use the cannon. That's interesting that it doesn't spawn a launch star there. Very interesting. So let's -a go and get all of these because we have to get all of these. Let's take out the middle. And then let's take out some more of the middle. I'm sad it just doesn't play as actual song. It's better when it plays an actual song. Oh, 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 oh Luigi. Hang on. Gonna go back this way and hopefully not fall off the edge. Oh my goodness. Float over. This is probably the most inefficient way to get all of these. It's a good thing there's no time limit or anything. Which there definitely is. I missed a panel. I have to go back. I'll go back this way now. Hopefully I don't actually got not gonna actually run out of time by doing this. Oh, this is bad. Please land. Oh, I'm about to run out of time. I think. Am I? Or does this just have infinite time? I don't know. But I managed to do it, so. There we go. Yeah. 
Yaha! I did it! Now to go back and in and do the actual start I was supposed to be doing. Hurry, he's hungry! <laughs> That's a great star name. I didn't- I haven't been I didn't pay attention well enough to the actual star names for the Hungry Lumens because they do actually have names for the, the, their stars sometimes, other than the secret star sometimes. But, like, Yoshi's un unexpected appearance, and then Hari, he's hungry. Yeah, need to actually pay attention to those. Anyway, let's uh, race Cosmic Luigi, who can hopefully not breathe longer underwater than I can. Because that would be silly. That would be rude. That would be cheating. Oh, you can get some star bits in the opening thing. Let's go. I wonder if I can go fast through swimming water by spinning on the top of the water. Probably not, but I, I could try. Go, 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 go. Need to get a shell. Get a shell. Get a shell. Thank you. Go faster. He's got a shell as well. He's got an aqua shell. He's got a space shell, which is actually pretty cool looking. Wish I could have a space shell like that. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. He's right there. Don't let go of my shell. I wonder if I'm... Oh, I actually know exactly what is making this harder. I know exactly what it is. Maybe? I might be wrong, but I believe that when you go back into a profile and race the Cosmic Clone, I think it's... I'm probably wrong about this, but I think it's actually based on the original time that you could get through. So it's like a, a record, it records how the way that you get to the star when you do a Cosmic Clone. So I think that means that that was me as Mario getting the star that I'm racing against. So I'm racing against myself, I think. I could be wrong, but I mean, that'd be interesting. I'm pretty sure they do that in Super Mario Sunshine with the Piantissimo races. Pretty sure you race your own time after you do redo it. But anyway, let's get these silver stars since we can. Such a good song as well. So relaxing. Also, I was comparing in the um, the Super Mario 3D All Stars menu the times of the music albums for each game and it's like just under an hour to in like Super Mario 64 uh, a bit over an hour in uh, Super Mario Sunshine and then when it gets to Super Mario Galaxy it's over two hours which is surprising but anyway let's keep going and get some more of these silver stars and I need to not miss the one that's here because this one's probably the easy one to miss. Okay, let's go. And let's keep on going. Very nice. Cannons, they're the best. Cannons are so much fun. I'll take your word for it. I mean, they're alright, but I didn't, wouldn't say they're, like, the best thing ever, but... Okay. Anyway, let's get up here and get this silver star. Gonna just skip on that treasure chest thing. Oh, get up there. There we go. Now let's head back to the other side and get those ones. Okay, I can do this. Just don't need. Just don't fall in the water. Okay, we're we're pretty pretty set now. Just need to get to the top of this tree and then to the center. Oh, get up there, Luigi! Nope. Okay, up, up, up. There we go. 
Oh, tree, don't get in my way. Okay, I made it, somehow. Okay, we're almost done. Just need to get to the middle now, which is not that hard, considering the way that you get there. It's just spinning that, and then go. Super cool, the, the way this water works, though. So cool. Now, where is this last piece? Is it just... Or this last silver star? Is it just in the middle? I think it's just the middle. Yeah. Let's grab that. Very nice. Let's launch ourselves back over there. We get it. Also, we have 50 lives now, which is pretty cool. This is a very well designed star. Also, we could go either way to get back to the star quickly as well, because there's the sling star over by the the tower as well. That we can use to sling ourselves back over here and get the star. Ah, uh, don't save. I'm surprised I was, met I I was able to jump during the text for saving. But anyway, it's time for Toy Time Galaxy. It's a pretty good galaxy. Heavy Metal Mecha Bowser. I wonder what Mario Sunshine would be like if he had a pointer. <laughs> I mean, I don't want that at all, but what would that be like? Go train. Go. Go faster. I'm trying to get past you. <gasps> oh wow, that was close. And let's go. And that actually is the proper way that I didn't do last time. Oh, gravity. I love gravity. It's fun. Fun stuff. Also, I don't think this is anything, is it? It's just, uh, star bits. Yeah. Now, do I need to do that other bit, or can I just do this now? I think I can just do this now and get into that cage. But I might be wrong about that, because I think... No, that does just open up. Cool. Makes things a lot easier. Especially if I actually grab onto the gravity right there, and don't fall to my death. So let's go and get Spring Mario. Or Spring Luigi, that's the one. I know who I'm playing as. Oh my goodness, the spring is just a mess right now in Luigi. Oh, there we go. It was so overlapped before because of the way that it gets onto you when you first grab it. Because when you first grab it, you're still in your run animation, and so it puts the springs on you as if you're in your spring, like you're curled up in the spring, but it still looks, oh, like you're, oh my goodness. I'm sure I could take these enemies out, but I don't think you can. I'm pretty sure they're just here, which is a shame. Anyway, let's go get a spring again because we lost it. Because of that laser. Oh my goodness, flying around all over the place. I think I can dodge better if I just don't jump high. Probably. Go faster, Luigi. Okay, we're good. Let's just go up. Very nice. Very nice. There's the Pixel Mario that we're going to go to later. And Pixel Luigi, I guess, on the other side, except it's not there normally, so... It's a little bit extra that we get to see later on. Let's go and launch me, please. Over to the Mecha Bowser, which also has the um, spiky shell and... I can't remember what, it, what else it is. I think he also has the hair? Or something? Oh, get up there. Okay, there's that. Q. 
get up there. Okay, legs have been screwed in. Okay. See if I can make this final push. Let's go. I'm dodging these robot. Or the, the fire inside and seeing the robots inside. Ooh. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. I just need to get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Okay, we're good. And now these robots are gonna be on this treadmill forever, or else they're gonna be in a lot more trouble. Did I say that right? They have to keep rolling, otherwise they're gonna fall off the edge. Yeah, they're on the treadmill. Keep treadmilling. Or bad things will happen to you. I think I've been saying that a lot today, I need to stop saying that. I am very good at getting... Oh my goodness. I'm very good at saying the same thing over and over and over sometimes without meaning to. And I have to stop. I just want to speak words. Luigi meets Mario. Of course, because it's, it's, more, it's normally Mario meets Mario. But we're playing, we're playing as Luigi, so it's Luigi meets Mario. It's actually great. So what happens when Luigi meets Luigi? It'd actually be interesting if, in, like, they replace the Mario in this version when you're playing as Luigi to actually being Luigi. That'd be so interesting. Also, I know that there's a Hungry Luma, so I'm gonna get that straight away. And ignore the, the launch star chips. Ow! Pain. Hey you! Yeah you, got any tasty star bits? If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst with snacky happiness and then transform. Also, I just realized you can hold down the B button to skip and make the text go by a lot faster. That changes everything. That's it, I'm stuffed. Here we go, transform! Can't skip that text though. New planet was born. So let's go. And get crushed by something, probably. We didn't last time, but we're still Luigi and we're gonna slide all around a lot, so... Let's see... There's also the Fast Foes version. That we need to be wary of. Or aware of. Go, 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 go! Don't slide, thank you. Let me out, let me out! Let me in, let me in! Don't crush me! Oh, don't slide in there too much. Let's get out, and we're good. Just need to get over to the middle bit now. Which we can kind of do. I don't know why it slid me around so much when jumping gravity. Okay, that's all of the uh, face block ones done. Now it's just these other ones. Ow, I didn't get hit somehow. That works. Okay, I can hit all of these maybe like that. And then let's go do the last ones. If I can get over there. And there we go. 
Also, I like how you can see out the window and there's just space in the background. Over there and over there. Anyway. The background in Toy Time is also interesting because there's a floor. So, there's technically a down. But also, you you don't care about that when you're in on any of the planets, so... Well, so I know what's about to happen once we actually beat the game, because we've, we're have we going to unlock every single comet available to us, and it's going to take forever, because they're just all going to unlock at the same time, all at once. Fast foes of toy time. Time to get crushed by one of the face blocks this time. They aren't that fast. They're fast, but... I'm probably going to be fine. Probably. Okay, full speed. Gonna get crushed. Gonna just hang on for a second and then go. Well, so... Are they, like, unhappy with their lives as face blocks? Oh my goodness. I'm fine. They don't look extremely happy. But I guess it depends on which way I'm looking at them. Which changes because it's galaxy. Okay. Okay. And we're safe. We're in the clear. Once you get those face block switches done, you're just pretty much good. Oh, this is fast though. <laughs> I mean, that's not going to hurt me. Probably. I'm probably gonna, gonna be able to dodge it, but also, oh my goodness, it's just so fast. Get over there. Get up, get over, get over, get, get out, get, 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 get over there. Luigi, please. What's, what's the sound? I don't know. But anyway, that one's done. We're gonna be upside down. You can see which way the floor is because of the way that the, the hills background on the walls is. And the clouds are closer to the the roof, I guess. On the background. Eighty one stars, and we haven't even finished the game yet and unlocked all of the purple coins. It's gonna be dangerous. Especially because I need regular stars to do in between levels. I should have thought this through. I need to actually probably finish the game soon. So, so I don't die. Luigi meets Mario, his brother for the first time. They had never met before this moment. It was just Super Mario Bro before. But now it's Super Mario Bros. Except it's Super Luigi Bros because it's Super Luigi Galaxy. We get so many star bits just by entering the level and getting to this point, which is good because there's a Hungry Luma that we did here. But also, it seems like it's not very hard to get the star bits for it. Grab that. Let's screw this in. There we go. I love how you actually screw it in. It's a gigantic screw and you just screw it in by screwing it in. Oh, get up there. Very nice. And the last one. Perfect. Please launch yourself. Thank you. Luigi meets Mario. I wonder if they intentionally made it like that so that when you're playing as Luigi, it would make a little bit more sense, I guess. Kind of not, though. Like, um, maybe Mario meets Mario was not the intent. The main intent, at least, with the name. The amount of time I could spend just on these platforms forever is probably not worth it for the, for the joke. Okay, let's go get the star. This one's a fairly easy one. Oh, 
I might finish off the engine room 100% and then move on and then do the final Bowser. Well, that's how I'm going to probably do it. So let's get the next star in toy time. And then we'll do the next Bowser level. And then Bowser level after that, since the last one is the one after that. Technically, I'm bouncing down Cake Lane. It's something, something everyone's done, right? Bouncing down Cake Lane. Whatever that means. And we get to deal with that electric guy. There's no music, and then you land, and then there's music. And also train. Let's go! Get these spoons of star bits. Somebody already ate all the insides of the orange. Okay, let's go back down. <laughs> let's go back down, okay. Let's see if I can get through this section without too much difficulty. It's not my favorite kind of tea, really. Get over there, and then over that, and then over this block of chocolate, please. And the next one as well, and there we go, very nice. Now I think you can also get around this thing here if you're good enough, but I am not good enough. Okay, please. Thank you. Very nice. Good shortcut. It's a lot better than doing all of that there. Also, I thought this was a lot further away when we launch start to it. Although I think it's actually a sling star, technically, so. I was expecting it to fling me further away there. Okay, go, go, go. Just gonna go straight through. Hopefully dodging all the enemies. Oh, but that's not a good move. That was not a good move at all. Jumping straight into that. So let's try this again, and this time with less jumping into the nothing with no platforms ready. Platforms move very slow. Okay, we also need to be careful when we're skating over this bit because those enemies can still get us possibly. The thing about skating over that whole end area though is that when you, when you get to the end here and there's no platform, you have to make sure you stop yourself by jumping and spinning so that you lose all the momentum of skating. And just stop skating in general, really. Because when you jump and spin, you stop skating. Anyway, let's go. Very nice. Piece of cake, really. Well, so what's this pipe over here? I saw this last time and I didn't do anything with it, but I want to see what it is. It's probably nothing, but I'm, all, I'm gonna I'm gonna check. Oh, this is what it is. Okay, just star bits. Oh, oh, okay. It's not star bits, I guess. It's a one-up. If I can get to it, there we go. And the spikes around this place. That's it's an interesting design, but completely pointless. Considering it just gives you a 1-up. And considering it gives us 20 1-ups that are addressed to Mario. I mean, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Just gonna put out these candles on this birthday cake. I don't know whose birthday cake it is, but I'm putting them out. And it must be sad for them. They didn't get to blow out their own candles. I blew them out for them. Mwahaha. Am I going a little bit crazy? Maybe. But anyway, let's fight this thing. I'm sure we'll be fine. I'll just get zapped once. And that's it. That's the terms and conditions. <gasps> oh my gosh! Good save. Good save. Nice. Nice save. Excellent save. Okay. Oh my goodness. 
what is happening right now. Oh, please don't fall off and actually land and ground pound. There we go. I didn't get zapped at all. I gave it to him instead. I think he was okay with it. Probably. Anyway. Ah, get up there. <laughs> Long Luigi. There was that one frame where Luigi wasn't in his spring form and it was just stretched out. Long Luigi. Tall boy Luigi. But anyway, that is it for this episode of Super Luigi Galaxy, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.